What's up guys, Josh aka Savage Hydra here and welcome back to Dark Souls. Uh, last time we explored the lower undead bow and opened up a fair few shortcuts in the game uh, and now and found a fog wall that I now wish to go and deal with. Uh, so as you've seen, I've just gone back and equipped my club just to deal with this, make this uh, a bit easier to deal with because it is our stronger weapon. Uh, I'm going to work our way back to the fog wall. Uh, actually, after I deal with the, these guys, because I remember I completely forgot at the end of the episode that I was going to check over the black leather armor. So I will just deal with these guys and then we'll have a look at that quickly. Today. But if we look at the black leather armor, so it's a little bit more fire resistance than the leather armor, but it's generally, it's got higher bleed and poison resist, uh, much higher, uh, uh, yeah, much higher poison resist actually, uh, but in general its defenses are fairly low and that's kind of what we want really uh, at this point in the game. So I'll keep that on for now like it is. But we do have the Thief Mask, uh, which has some decent defenses about it. And it's something anyway. And we are now heavy rolling, which is always nice. Well, not heavy rolling, this is the normal roll. Uh, this is somewhat annoying. What's our carry weight looking like? Our carry rate is 66, so we're just, just barely over the threshold, which is quite annoying actually. Uh, but we will head over this way. And back down where we were last time. Deal with you. And we're about to fight what is probably one of the most aggressive bosses in the game. It is very, very aggressive. Um, I'm not really sure what else I can say about it, really, without being spoilers. That is, I, th I believe that's the stance they use to parry. Yep, that's the parry stance. And see, we'll get ruined by that. I tried to kick, that's why, so I didn't really pull it off very well. Uh, but I'm going to take this opportunity to heal right now. Because believe me, we are not going to get a chance to heal inside the boss fight. So uh, I'm going to heal when I need to up here. Uh, those dogs that were here will have respawned. But we can actually kill them quite easily in one hit with the club because it's our upgraded weapon. And I heal again. And we shall deal with our newest hurdle. So the Capra Demon. Very aggressive. Don't get much chance to respond to it. And I've been caught by these dogs and I'm dead. That's the really frustrating thing about this fight, is that you don't really have much prep time. Uh, and the thing you really want to try and do is to, well, for one thing you want to deal with the dogs first. And the easiest way to do that is to get up to the top of the, those stairs and sit on an archway where the cat demon can't quite reach you. Uh, and deal with the dogs and then drop down and fight the Capra Demon when it's on its own. But for now, uh, I will cut to whenever we get back to the Capra Demon and just uh, skip all this wandering through the areas to get to where we need to. So we're back here with the Capra Demon uh, and 
I was gonna head straight on him. What's I'm doing with this? Yeah. Okay, we got a bit of an advantage here. Uh, oh, no, please stop. So we can get up here, back in the corner, hold our shield up, and we're okay. And the dogs can get up here, but the Capra Demon can't. Where's our other dog friend? I can hear him, but I don't know where he is. It's probably caught on something. Or something. But this is a nice area um, if you are kind of struggling with this fight, uh, which it is very easy to struggle with this fight. Um, this is a good area to kind of safe get to as a safe space and, and heal. Um, some people would consider it to be a, an exploit, uh, but I mean, these sort of things are placed in the game by the designers for a reason. Nothing in Dark Souls is done without reason. I can drop down on him and not get damaged because I'm bad. Where's our dog friend? I was stuck in there. Oh, that's making a problem. Right? So I'm just going to kite, kite the cat through demon around. Shut down. We can get some good damage in there. Roll through his attacks. Do with the gold right now. I know we can kind of fight him somewhat normally. That was a tricky swing. Gonna heal here. a little bit and use this bit to heal. Nice aerial attack. Ooh. And that jump attack leaves him very vulnerable. Um, but the strong attacks that he will use are those ones where he kind of puts his two swords together. Uh, kind of frustrating to deal with, uh, but that is the Capra Demon. And now we don't want to go that way, we're going to go down this way. Now that we have the key to the depths, uh, we can head through this door over here. But I don't want to do that quite yet. I want to head back up and just restore our Estus, restore our heal miracles, spend our souls. Because the first bonfire in the depths is a little way away. So, we want to deal with our stuff here first. Why are you here? I thought I'd kill you. Why have you all spawned? I killed you. This is strange. I haven't rested a bonfire, but I killed all these guys on the way up to. Hmm. Oh well, more free souls. Um, for leveling up. That's fine. But so yeah, we we've dealt with the Capra Demon. 
uh, when I spend my summons. Uh, so I'm going to put a little bit of endurance and a point. Oh, we only have enough for one. So I put a point of endurance just because we want to get our carry weight up again to get our fast roll going. And let's see, one point of endurance. We were so close to the, the edge that we one point of endurance gets our fast roll back. So I think... Uh, do I have any items to do my souls? I don't think I have any items to do my souls. Uh, I am going to off screen get a couple of souls from those guys up there and level up one last time just to clear out these souls in our inventory. Uh, and I shall see you guys in the next episode. <laughs>